And yes, gravity hasn't been proven. Yes, gravity hasn't been proven. Yes, gravity hasn't been proven. But things like I told you with the Shahillian uh, uh, experiment and the. Um... Oh, it, it's another experiment. The Shahillian experiment? Wow, I'm sure we'll get an established cause and effect relationship with the logic that the scientific method has to offer, if A then B, or if A not B, in the form of a validatable scientific prediction, as he used that word, prediction. And he's also used the word proof, offered by empiricism in the scientific method. He also said this was science. Obviously, none of it's been addressed by any of you, because you're such wonderful debaters, aren't you, Jaron, Hibbler, Dave, and Witsit? Fantastic job you're doing at pulling apart his claims of science. Work. Unless you invoke heavenly energies that we have to look at what that is. <laughs> no one's calling him on it. The people who are calling the people who do know what science is scammers, they don't know what science is. Point is, is these are gravity measurements. This is now uh, mc2.net forward slash g. Oh, good, you can good just story. see. <laughs> well, but again, you can look at, you can click and look at the studies mm -hmm. yourself. So there's just, yeah. I mean, it's it's overwhelming the number of times that. The no, on, on a side note. It's getting unbearable. Uh, on a side note, MC Toon, enemy of our topic, gets bought up. No worries. Yeah, you talk about MC Toon. Plug in. Maybe we'll give you out his channel details. Mention me, we don't watch. Shut down immediately. MC2, yeah, plug away. These, num these experiments Maybe have been confirmed. It. It's not just one person or, or even just one experiment. They, they've been able to confirm it in many different... And yes, gravity hasn't been proven. But... Yeah, they're nodding along. They all watch MC2. Because obviously there was no necessity to point out that they don't watch him. Because they're all big fans of MC2. And they're subscribers, obviously. They're not pointing out they don't watch him like they did with me. The guy that defends Bitcoin for them. The guy that gets text messages about how to overcome arguments they can't overcome. That's the guy they're not watching. MC2, yeah, yeah, plug away, mate. Plug away. Ways, not just by Cavendish, but by doing other, you know, Von Jolly. Um, it's just two examples. But so there's many ways that we can show that mass attracts mass. And yes, gravity hasn't been proven. And it's typically... <laughs> Mass hasn't attracted mass and isn't claimed to be tra attracting mass since 1906. What's he talking about? Do the guys on the flat earth side not realise that he's now no longer in line with the current heliocentric rhetoric of Einstein? Mass doesn't attract mass in Einstein's rhetoric. It's the bending of a pseudo-Romanian force space time dimension. It's geodesics in space time. That's what gravity is, not mass attracting mass. Obviously, these very, very clued up, top of the line, cutting edge debaters know this and will point it out to him, won't they? You know, the force between masses is typically, you know, the gravitational constant M1, M2 over R squared. And we can, you know, uh, unless you're in a really high gravitational field, like in a black hole, or you're going near the speed of light, th these equations hold very, very accurately. <laughs> and yes, gravity hasn't been proven. And again, yes, gravity hasn't been proven, but no theory is ever proven. Gravity hasn't been proven. He's just spent the last 10 minutes telling them he's got scientific evidence for it. Obviously. I mean, he's laid that out for them on a silver platter. So obviously, they can't not lap that up. He's practically force-fed it to them. Let's see what they do with that. Proven. So a theory versus a law is something that tries to explain what the law is saying. So the theory of gravity <laughs> went from Newtonians. This guy's a complete pseudoscience clown. He's confusing and conflating the difference between laws of nature, which are descriptions of things always, and validation of a phenomena with its cause based on a validatable scientific hypothesis. Those two things are not the same. He's conflated them, and no one's calling him on it. The people who are calling the people who do know what science is scammers, they don't know what science is. They're not calling him on it. They're not addressing it. They don't tell him that he's wrong when he talks about laws and conflates them. With scientific evidence, they're not calling him on it. They don't know anything. Theory. So then Einstein updated it to a better theory of general relativity. And he didn't <laughs> update it. He superseded it. It's in a completely different dimension. Pseudo-Ramonian four space time is completely different to Euclidean three space. 
They're not compatible. It's not an upgrade. The two are completely devoid of one another. One has mass attracting mass. The other has bending space time. Updated it. It's in a different geometry. Obviously, Jaron's going to point this out, though, isn't he? He knows a scammer when he sees one because he knows all these arguments so well to point out when people are scamming with them. So he's going to point this out, aren't you, Jaron? You sharp cookie. I you. wonder if they know if it's even compatible. You know? So, so they updated the theory from a law. That's what he's saying. <laughs> the, the, no, no, no. Let's not hesitate. All of these cutting edge debaters will catch him on that. And the interesting thing, though, is that you know Newton's equations aren't weren't proven wrong. They actually are special cases within relativity where space is really flat and time is not <laughs> so flat. Or, in a completely different geometry not compatible in any way shape or form there is no fourth dimension in newtonian gravity you can't shoehorn in an extra dimension he's just lying either he's lying or he's incompetent either way they should know and they should be correcting him on his own wrong rhetoric that he's bullshitting them with it how are they supposed to be debunking it if they don't know he's wrong about it and the speeds aren't really super high so you actually get Newton's equation. So the new theory didn't, you know, it, 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 it transcended, but it included Newton's equations, but just as a special case. Yeah. yeah. Um, Theories don't have equations. Theories are based on scientifically experimentable, provable predictions called hypotheses, actualized in experiments. That's what gives you theories, not based on maths. Again, obviously, these cutting edge debaters from the flat earth side are going to point that out, aren't they? Because the scammers wouldn't be able to do it. Us scammers, we wouldn't have been able to cope with this guy. We'd have just agreed to disagree the whole time. So, you know, and again, with general relativity... Wait, well, can, we, can we talk about one at a time? Is that cool? Instead of, like, you're saying Newtonian well, gonna, and then you're... I mean, go ahead. Go ahead, I guess. Just no, no, I was just going to go through the gravity, then we can talk about gravity in general. Then, I'm, then we'll get to the flat Earth gravity thing I have set up. So... Oh. So, so we're not going to get to rebut all your claims right now about gravity? No, no, we are. No, 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 we are. I, gravity. no, 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 no. I, I said, let's just get through this, then we'll have a discussion, and then, you know. Okay, we'll, fair enough. We'll, um, so, um, and I, I know you guys have seen this stuff before. So, you know, there's a lot of validation for relativity. And, you know, I'm sure you guys know with LIGO, which, by the way, the, the long interferometer. He's just said there's a lot of validation for relativity. Three minutes ago, he said gravity wasn't proven. <laughs> arms did have to account for, for i can't earth. keep up anymore um, man this is this is nauseating me well why aren't they keeping up they're supposed to be on the cutting edge we're supposed to be scammers surely we should be the ones failing to address any of these points and they should be ripping him a new one i mean incredibly accurately confirmed relativity to like eight decimal places i mean it makes a one of the most accurate theories as far as making predictions that we've ever had along with <clears throat> quantum electrodynamics so i'll say it again <laughs> A scientific prediction dynamics okay a scientific prediction is a theory is it is just a, a nonsensical statement because a theory is the result of scientific experimentation based on a prediction called a hypothesis the prediction is the hypothesis the validation of the prediction is the experiment and after you have validated your prediction you can then form a theory Again, me, the scammer, not knowing anything about science and Jaron knowing that I'm a scammer because I talk about science like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's perfectly reasonable, isn't it? Is it, is it true about LIGO? Oh, hold on, hold on. Can the amount of the question to string displacement Kiwi, was please? smaller than a proton? Nathan. Yeah, go ahead, uh, Arwin. Sorry. Yeah, just, Nate, uh, Kiwi, like, what is quantum electrodynamics? Is that a thing? It is, but it's not. It doesn't have anything to do with what he's talking about. Ah, so they're just like grabbing from the uh, textbook yep. some fancy word. Yep. He, he didn't go into it. He just stated the phrase, right? <laughs> You're right, right. I, I don't know what it is from just what he was saying. So, yeah, makes sense. <laughs> All right. Carry on. Yeah, well, it, it has to be smaller than um, the diameter of an atomic nucleus, actually. Wow. It's not wow. a full it's, it's amazing. No, it, that's incredible. Exactly. It is incredible. It's incredible, incredible precision that has to happen mm -hmm. to detect a gravitational wave. But this chirp that took, you know, took place in two locations. They didn't just do one location. They did it in Washington and like Louisiana. Mm. They were able to, to confirm the exact same gravitational pattern 
exactly as predicted by general relativity. So and I, it was just an amazing. amazing a couple of weeks class. ago, I read that's a story. Cap, bro. A couple of weeks ago, I read a story that they they first faked the experiment to see if they would if everybody would agree with it, and they did. They they faked it the LIGO the first time. Everybody showed up at the press conference, and then they were told that it was fake. But nobody knew. Were told that it was fake. As an experiment is the actualization of a scientific prediction. If A, then B, or if A, not B. That's a hypothesis. There's not, it turned out to be fake. It either is a validatable hypothesis, actualized to offer empirical proof, or it isn't. There's not, headline news experiment was wrong. It's a method to offer empiricism. This demonstrates at a fundamental level that Geron doesn't understand what science is. Because science is empirical. That's the point. It's not headline news, it's been debunked. Doesn't work like that. Clearly, Jaron's just a scammer. Claiming to know what science is and talking like he knows what science is when he talks about headline news. Showing that experiments were wrong. No, they either prove the cause of the effect or they don't if they're valid experiments. New. Nobody knew it was fake. Nobody knew it was fake. I would have known if I'd have seen the hypothesis. And this guy's claiming to have them. Predictions. None of you have asked him what it is or what his predictions were or what the null was or when the experiment was performed to validate or invalidate his claims that none of you have refuted. You're just talking about how, what, you went on to wiki and it told you it was fake. So therefore it was fake. No, you can establish whether or not it's fake based on whether or not it's a validated or validatable Hypothesis. That's a cause and effect relationship laid down after observing something happen in nature. Something you didn't identify in his gizmo? Isn't that? You useless shit, Jaron. You embarrass me. Yeah, but again, that's... How, how dare you tell your audience I'm a scammer because I talk in an educated fashion about science. When you talk about headline news, science wasn't right. And they came out on the news telling you that the experiment was a fake. If you knew what science was, you could establish that for yourself by asking a few key questions that you didn't ask this man who claims to be a man of science. You just don't know what science is, Jaron. Is it projection? Is that why you needed to tell your audience that I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to science? Mere projection of your own ineptitude because you weren't capable of taking apart a man of science's word based on his bullshit and fallacies? Is that what this is? Need to project how you're actually a scammer, Jaron, when you pretend to know about science, which you clearly have just demonstrated you don't. That's just conjecture. I mean, no, it's not, I just told you that I could give you the article where they write about it. Sorry, article? You can show me the article. I can show you an article about unicorns, Jaron. Meanwhile, validatable scientific predictions have cause and effect relationships laid down with independent and dependent variables. What's that? You can show me an article, can you? How dare you call me a scammer? I don't know about fucking science that you, you have ever, ever even dreamt. You think articles validate scientific experiments, do you, Jaron? You complete clown. Article, well, send me the article and I'll look at it. Oh, we'll have a look at it, Willie. We would have asked him for the independent and dependent variable. The supposition of cause for the effect observed in nature being studied when he talks about gravity. We wouldn't have asked him for an article. Of course, if you're a wiki parroting clown like Jaron, you'll scroll your way through Google to find out if it's science or not, won't you? Isn't that weird answer. if that's true? Isn't that weird if it's true, bro? True? What, whether the article says it's true or not, wits it? Because we here on Flat Earth Debate establish whether or not something's science based on whether or not it's science. Not whether or not an article says it is. I mean, I'll look at it. I mean, I've... I'll look. Just an, I, I will look at it. I really will. Um, yeah. So, but I, I'm not convinced until I can see it and take a But look. if it's true, is that not really weird? That's what we're... If, if the article's true, bearded idiot. No, science is true if you've got a validatable hypothesis. That's a scientific prediction that you actualize by varying an independent variable, supposition of cause and effect you observed in nature. That's how you establish if it's true in science, my friend. Not whether or not this clown's been sent the article and read it. These people are scammers, ladies and gentlemen. They're scamming you into belief that they think they know what science is. They don't. They think it's articles and wiki searches. I mean, that's it. We're, if you we're, confirm we're, we're just playing what ifs right now, though. I, no, I, but just to be it it's an intellectual honesty thing, right? Like, hypothetically, yeah. if mm -hmm. they 
lied to everyone and, and just to see if they would believe it, I mean, that would be kind of weird, right? And it would be weird if it I happened mean, to be I mean, 100, yes, yes. 100 yes. years to the day that, 100 years to the year that Einstein predicted them. That'd be crazy. Like, what are the chances it would be on the hundredth year? But that's just a coincidence. Let's, oh, let's coincidence. see. Hold on. Hold on. That doesn't make hold sense. On. Yeah. No, I didn't. Hold on. Hold on. They got Jedi mind trick. Let's see that prediction in general relativity. I, I want to see it in the in the scientific theory of general relativity, the prediction of gravitational waves. Let's see that first. Yeah. It would be weird. Okay. okay. I mean, it's just, it's just like Stephen Hawking being born, like, exactly a couple hundred years after, like, what was it, Galileo or something. It doesn't prove that he's a reincarnation. Of- they said that they faked it, bro. It's weird. Well, so we we'll, can- well I'll, I'll... So they said that they, pr- that they faked it, did they, Witsit? They said that. You see, if it's actual science, it has empiricism attached to it, Witsit. It doesn't matter what they say about it. It either is empirically validated or it is not. You either prove the cause of the effect you're studying nature or you prove it wasn't what you predicted when you supposed the cause of it. That's a null validation. Proving you null, that's what it offers. It either is or isn't. And what the article says is irrelevant. It requires you, the Dumbo, asking these questions of the scientist to establish with the Dumbo scientist if he has actually got a validatable scientific prediction to do an experiment with not providing him with an article you dug up on wiki